In a telephonic conversation with his Chinese counterpart, Dr. S. J. Shankar, India's external affairs minister minced no words and lambasted China for its unilateral actions along the LAC, aimed at altering the agreed-upon status quo at the de facto border. The conversation between the two sides comes after the Monday night clashes of Indian and Chinese troops at patrol point 14 of the Galwan River Valley, Ladakh. 20 Indian soldiers have been martyred due to China's misadventure. During his telephonic conversation with Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi on Wednesday, Jay Shankar reminded the Chinese side of the commander level meeting at Moldo on June 6 and stated that China's attempt to erect a structure on the Indian side of Galwan is what became the source of the dispute. While speaking to Wang Yi, Dr. S. J. Shankar also remarked that the Chinese-initiated developments in Ladakh would now be having a serious impact on bilateral relations between the two nations. Further, the Indian mayor told his Chinese counterpart, what happened in Galwan was premeditated and planned action by China which was responsible for the sequence of events. The statement released by the Ministry of External Affairs read, the need of the hour was for the Chinese side to reassess its actions and take corrective steps. The two sides should scrupulously and sincerely implement the understanding that was reached by the senior commanders on 6 June. Troops of both sides should also abide by the bilateral agreements and protocols. They should strictly respect and observe the line of actual control and should not take any unilateral action to alter it. China, on Wednesday, went on to claim the Galwan Valley in its entirety, as Chinese sovereign territory, a claim they have made for the first time publicly. The mayor late last night rebuked China for such unsubstantiated and frivolous claims, and said, both sides have agreed that the overall situation should be handled in a responsible manner and that the understandings reached between senior commanders on 6 June should be implemented sincerely. Making exaggerated and untenable claims is contrary to this understanding. Dr. S. J. Shankar, India's former foreign secretary who has also served as the Indian ambassador to China for close to five years is a seasoned technocrat and knows the communist state very well. Under his leadership, the Ministry of External Affairs is now taking an authoritative position, and not mincing its words while calling China out. The schooling and taming of China has only begun.